Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lana. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, on this week's Queen Sugar, it is called All the Borders, Season 4, Episode 8. E. And before we get started, I want to give a major shout out to those that were in the premiere on last week. And we want to give a special shout out to those that left Super Chats on last week. E. So first of all, we got Ruru91. He gave us a Super Chat for the macaroni and cheese fun. That's yeah. an inside <laughs> joke. So if y'all went on last week's premiere, you're not going to know what the heck we were talking about. But Ruru, we got you. E. We got you. Trisha Ann, thank you so much. Appreciate Terrell it. Mori, thank you so much. That's that's fam right there. He's been rocking with us for yeah. a long time. Baby Girl 82, same with her. Been rocking with us for a very, very long yes, time. Yes, indeed. We appreciate you all. But guess what I need y'all to do on today? Yeah. On this premiere right here. On August the 8th, 2019. You want to know what I want you to do? Flood the line because my baby's birthday is today. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Lord and Lord, hey, look who's hey, 40. Hey, Lord and Lord, hey, look hey, who's 40. Hey. My baby don't turn 40 today. He has yeah. joined the grown and sexy la la la. But I don't know how to feel about it though. So hey. I tell my wife when I was younger, I used to laugh at people that was my age now. I called them old. <laughs> and I'm not old. You just seasoned. Well seasoned. Yeah. Marinated. Got a lot of salt pepper in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Green peppers. I'm language. telling you, when you <laughs> hit 40, see, I'm a year older than him. And last year, he thought I was crazy. Like, when you hit 40, something about you just changes. Yeah. Like, you evaluate everything, and everything you do is like a calculated risk. You know it, what I'm saying? It has to count. And let me go ahead and address the glasses right here. I'm not trying to be cute, but I had an allergic reaction, a severe allergic yeah. reaction. Yeah. And I'm almost 100%. I'm about 99%. 92%, but in the meantime, I need to create a barrier between me and thee because I my eyes look bucked up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the elephant out. Hey. The room. Let's get into this queen sugar. For y'all that missed the premiere, then go ahead and leave your comments as usual. Like we always say, we won't ignore you over here. If we're not commenting back to you, then at least you will get a like from us hey. and a heart. So with that said, um I don't know how much more. Miss Charlie can take to be honest with you Nothing and I'm else. at a point where I'm about to send her a plane ticket and just tell her get on the plane and go back to just, just go back because go back at this Cali. point she has taken so many L's since she came back I, I it's just unreal to me but let's get it started the mill is burned down you know that song, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. We don't need no water. The motherfucker burned. The motherfucker burned. And it took them bastards 30 minutes to get there on purpose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. On it was all calculated. Um, The firefighter let Charlie know right off the bat. What we have found in the evidence that we have collected thus far, it looks like this. it was arson. I mean, we're just going to put it out there point blank period. Mm -hmm. It was arson. Which exactly. we all know that to be exactly. true. Kiki, she shows up. Because she, cause she's concerned that Mike and Charlie may have gotten hurt in the fire or whatnot. So she comes and checks on her baby. But guess who shows up too? Hmm. And see, this is where me and Micah got a little... Micah, why did you call your aunt Nova and tell her about it? I understand that you say she's still family. But you know what you know her dynamic, yeah, does what's going to your family. Exactly. Why would you even tell her to come through like that? We're we not... But, <laughs> He could have been hoping that that they were gonna have a softer heart during this tragedy, but this wasn't the right tragedy, though. No, it wasn't. No. So you have Charlie's friend, and for the life of me, I can't think of this man's name right here. Every week I forget somebody's name. Yeah. <laughs> I got Nisha this week. Now I can't get Charlie's man's name. So y'all drop it down in the comments below and let me know what his name is. And by the time this airs, I'll know his name. My dad myself. So Charlie and Ralph Asia goes over there to go see Miss Francis, right? Miss Ruby Wu herself. Hmm. But before they were able to get over there to her, being that Nova is in town, they all kind of left the scene of the fire in a hurry. And Nova's gonna <laughs> gonna run gonna run off at the mouth and tell Charlie and Ralph, y'all don't need to do anything rash. 
Charlie said, say, you, you can't say that to me right now. I said, Miss Rash herself. Yeah. I try to tell you not to be rash. When you buck the whole family up yep. because you made a rash decision. And Charlie told her, right, you don't have the right to tell me skit right now. Mm -hmm. So Charlie goes over there and she pretty much confronts Miss Ruby Woo and all of Ruby Woo's ancestors, every racism, racist bone she had in her Came body. Out came flooding out of her yeah. mouth to a point where I was like, this woman's face is transforming right in front of me. Like yeah. for real, in my in real life, I think she got some issues with us. Huh. I mean the way that she transformed in that scene, I was like, oh, oh. Right. Oh, Whoa. okay, okay, I got you. She was giving references to sugarcane being just as pure, pure white, and it was not. dirty before it goes in the meal. And once you get the impurities out, it comes out white and pure as snow, as and it that's, that's all the way it's supposed, supposed to, be. to be. I was like, Charlie, hit her between her eyes, man. Charlie said, "There it is. Yeah, I've been, I've been, been waiting on been that, waiting for that to come yeah. out." And this woman went on to read Charlie about, "Oh, you." You talking about my business practices, but you were all in for it when it benefited you and this, that, and the third. And you came in here with your basketball money and you did this and you did. Oh, my God. This woman was going on. And then when she said, and your white mother. And I was like, oh. Charlie mm -hmm. said, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, oh. Yeah, so you don't talk you about don't black folk talk, mama, man. You don't you get talk about everything else. About my mama. Yeah. <laughs> but Charlie pretty much told her, said, I know that you put this hit. I know that you put the hit out on my meal. Basically, even if you didn't do it yourself, you called the dogs on this one. Yeah. She said, I didn't do it, but I'm glad it was done. Was that's, like, that's my answer right there. I said. That's the answer right there. Oh, oh, okay. So Charlie said, what is this? What was all of this about sisterhood and being together and doing business as women together? Hmm. That way said, because I'm doing what we always do. Keep your enemies closer. Yep. I said, you know what? Say I was doing what you was doing. Was it true? It was. It was. I said, Charlie, just leave. Just leave. Just leave. When pack you your bags your, up tonight. When you get your insurance check, leave. Don't pass go, go <laughs> but, pick, but collect your two hundred dollars and get on back to Cali, man. So then, I'm all the way confused about this next scene because we see Sam Landry go over there to the diner. Yeah. And have a conversation <clears throat> with Aunt Vi. But Aunt Vi was the one who called Sam Landry to the diner. Yeah. And she said, I did not invite you here for pleasantries. Call your dogs off. Put them back on the leash. And he was like, Vi, you know that I would do anything to protect my land and my money. But this right here, that's not what I do. I would not cause any kind of harm, especially like this, to your family. I said, hold on. What do they have going on right here? And then Aunt Vi said, I'm calling uh, in that favor. Yeah, I was like, what? And he it's sat like, down like it was heaven. Yeah, like, if you call in this favor, I I'm done. I, I said, she said, put your dogs on a leash. But Charlie's world has just been rocked right now. Yeah, I, I'm, but, I'm confu but I'm confused. What she got on him, y'all? I'm confused. And whatever she got on him, why she haven't used it yet? Yet. Yet. Yeah, why you haven't used it? What else got to happen before whatever this favor is for you to get them to stop? If you got the power to get them to stop. Why you ain't did it by now? Freaking pull that trigger. And we talking about the little one, if you ask me. I mean, we got we got the, the, the bad enough her shop got towed up. Well, restaurant got towed up, but the meal got burned down. That's enough. That's enough right there. Yeah, we don't have enough. Well, I guess that's what she's saying. You, you don't did the last thing that you, what is but, this favor? But no, no, but she was telling him, she gave him an opportunity to call the dogs off. I wouldn't even give him an opportunity to call the dogs off. Well, she kind of didn't. She said, do it. Yeah. I said, um, Vi, what you got going on? Don't, don't let me find out that you playing the game of life too. Yeah, we 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 gonna see. Yeah, we gonna see. Yeah, that, that was pretty. That was pretty interesting because he was eating out of her hand. Like, yeah, yeah when he sat down, he, he sat was down like, 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 yeah. I said, hold on, what's it? Yeah, what what, what is, is she? This? What does she got on him? So now that Nova is in town, she carries her black hot pots over there to the diner, 
And I said, didn't Avante you not to even come to her grave? Don't come. Mm -hmm. Not even to her funeral? You can no. Why are you here? Hop on. Well, who's this? <laughs> so when she comes in, Prosper was there. Prosper let Nova know, you know, Vi is at the house. She ain't here. But let me talk to you, you real quick. I'm about that book. Nova said. He said. He I would I would do the same thing too, cause you know Prosper can get you one. <laughs> he was like, "Come here, grasshopper." Uh huh. Sit right there. Sit your way down. <laughs> he said, "Let me tell you something. Before your father was your father, he was my friend." <laughs> I said, "Uh oh." Where we about to go uh -huh. with this? He said, that little thing that you put in the book? He said, let me, basically, he said, let me tell you how it really went down. Yeah. Because you didn't see what you thought you saw. Your daddy pretty much beat the brakes off of that white man because he came out there to that farm to do harm to you. Went yep. out there to the lady to do harm to you. He caught him, beat the brakes off of him, and the Almost only thing him. that brought him back was the sound of your mom's voice. Mm -hmm. And then he even took that man and dropped him off at the hospital. So what you saw him burying, you saw him burying his pain. Yeah. You saw him burying the remnants of that night, the bloody clothes and all of that. He didn't bury anybody. He buried his soul and pain in that grave that night. So you didn't see what you thought you saw. That's what Ghost them learned that from, man. <laughs> you commit the crime and just go ahead and burn the evidence, man. They say it's a big fish town. <laughs> so then in my mind, because I know how these old people work, they will come up their dirt until there's no more dirt to be left. I said, Prosper, did you just make that up? Did mm. you make that up to cover up for your friend? Because y'all, I know that's how old people do. But I really think he did tell the truth that time. So Nova was sitting there looking like she had egg in her face like... I Man. really put this out there to the world. It ain't even true. It is not even true. And you still have put the farm, the land at risk for them to come out there and investigate some skit. They won't even yeah. have But at the same time, I don't have a problem with it because she pretty much told it from what she saw. If I went outside and I saw my dad digging a hole and I... I ain't gonna never say nothing. Yeah, I, I, you know, if I want to tell a story, I'm be like, my dad buried a dead body. I ain't saying it. I'm telling ain't nobody gonna know that but me and Gordon. Just gonna be between you and Gordon? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So, because the mill has burned down, right, I didn't really think about everything that it would affect. So now we have Ra and Disha over there, and she's <clears> telling him, listen, you're gonna have to go and you're gonna have to make a statement about this, and you're gonna try to find, you're gonna have to convince these people to keep the funding going. For this, um, for this program, because without the mill, you can't harvest. Yeah. If you can't harvest, Man, you can't yeah. pay your workers. workers. Yeah. Well, he ended up going and speaking to the board and whatnot, and uh, basically they screwed y'all. Yeah. They pretty much screwed the hell out of them, and the parolees have to have forty hours of work a week, mm -hmm. a week for the program to even continue. Be and while it's under evaluation, they not gonna kick in their portion. So it's yeah. almost like the grant that they have to, to fund the portion of their pay that Raw isn't funding, they cut that off. Yep. I, I was like, I'm done right now. I'm so done. Thanks. So we got that. And Raw had to go and tell his workers, he was like, listen, I've always tried to be straight up with y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find different avenues for y'all to have work on other farms. And they was like, I ain't talking about other farms. I want to work here. He was like, listen, I'm not getting funding. And he basically gave him that last check. And that was sad. Yeah, that was sad. So. Because they depended on that. They depended on yeah, it. Their freedom is. Yeah, because you're looking at they just got out. Nobody hires ex-cons like that. Mm -mm. And if they do get a job, it's pretty much a very low, low paying job. So they had an opportunity to to pretty much uh, reimmerse in the uh, in the world, and they just got pulled from right from me, from man. Yeah. And I'm like, but I'm like, why didn't the people down there that's that's issuing the grant didn't kick in and be like, you know what, this is a little setback, but I appreciate what you're doing mm -mm. to help. But I don't care about that. That's a trickle effect. Yeah. So. We see, and see, this was the part of all parts that just <clears throat> pissed me off because these farmers, I don't been told Charlie, stop fucking with these goddamn farmers. Yeah. All right. So Charlie has to go and have a sit down with the farmers. And in true fashion to what they always do, whenever skit hits the fan, they never stick 
with Charlie to see if what we can do to rectify this. Mm -hmm. Let's see how how this is going to pan out and play out. And I understand it's all about money, business, all that good stuff. But y'all ain't have all this lip when y'all was over there with the Landry's. Nope. Anything that happens over there at Queen Sugar Mill, y'all ready to bounce. Y'all yep. ready to bail out. Y'all talk back. mad cash mm -hmm. money skit to her every freaking time. Yep. And pretty much anytime some they basically tell Charlie you ain't skit. We took we took a chance with to come you. on over there with you and look where that got us. Go, just walk, just yeah, go. Yeah, just yeah. I, I'm so done with these farmers. I don't know what to do. The same ones that turned against her in the in the meeting that time. Y'all remember? Mm -hmm. And then as soon as she get on her feet, we'll come back over there yeah. and we'll we'll do business. No, don't come back over mm -hmm. here when things are no, good. Go just on back over to the land. Just let him screw you. Take all your money. Give you uh freaking high prices to freaking uh million got on sugar cane. Yeah. yeah I'm so yeah. done. Yeah. Uh I, I so can't help nobody, man. At all. <laughs> so Hollywood has finally come home, y'all. Wood is home. This was the highlight of the show for me. He saved it for me because this show right here <laughs> just took my energy smooth down. Hollywood's home, and it seems like Vi is almost at her old self. Like she's embracing him, she's kissing up on him and telling him that she's happy that he's back. And hey. she said, you know, with everything that's going on with the family, I decided I wanted to cook and bring some comfort to the family so they're going to be over later. So yeah. you know, y'all know she ain't invited. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you know, that's good. You know, I'm here for you. You know, I got your back. You, yeah. know, you know, I'm riding that. So she was like, basically, yeah, I know you are. Nova's at her house. And she gets a knock on the door. It's Mr. Calvin, y'all. Mm. Mr. Calvin is back in town. And he came by to see Nova. And guess who else came by to see Nova at the exact same time? Her nephew, Mike. Micah. And when Micah saw Calvin, he immediately knew who it was from he the said, book. That's the cop. He said, oh, you're the cop? And he was like real, like, gritting on no, Calvin. He was and I was like, like, but I like Calvin, Micah. Pipe down. Micah gave Nova a dose of her own oh, freaking medicine. Yeah, and yeah. I live for every moment of yeah. it. Yeah. He basically, he said, listen, that cop, you been with him the whole time? She was like, no, I ain't been with him the whole time. We just reunited. We just reunited. On his book tour. <laughs> he said, so you cool with him, right? You, you good with him. He was one of those cops. And she was like, no, he's different. No, he he did, was, yeah. He said, but I'm quite sure that he don't saw people rough us up, mm -hmm. treat us bad, treat us unfairly, do things to to people like me, like that cop did to me. And he and didn't turn think about head. it and turned his head. So that makes him no better than the rest of them, right? So now, got Nova's uh, wheel spinning. And then he said this, he said, have you ever asked him? Have you ever asked him if he's mistreated someone of color? Have or you ever stand by and watch. Stand by and watch. That's a, that's a darn good question, man. A person man. of color. That's a darn good question. So later on, we saw that Nova did ask Calvin all of those questions, and no, Calvin has never did anything like that. But he sat back and he watched. Wow, he turned his head. And he said, "I did it because I was a coward." He said, "I'm not proud of what I did, but I did do it." He said, "Because it was easier to turn my head turn than to head. go against mm -hmm. the grain." What we gonna do with this, I don't know. So basically, that's the price to be, as we say, an activist but sleeping white. Mm -hmm. Those are the stuff that's gonna come up against you. Are you ready for a Nova? Yep. Are you ready to Nova vote alone? Yep. And your fans is gonna let you know. Yeah. Yep. So, so you can't hide it because they gonna they gonna want to see like who who your man who is the who is the who is the uh, king that's pushing the queen. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So we see Charlie. Charlie goes over there to Queen Sugar Mill. Now this whole time, you can see that Charlie is on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Yeah, she done. She's trying to figure out like she actually sat down with the family and she was having a conversation with Disha because Disha was trying to coach her and try to prime out of her. I know you think you have a case against the Landrys and you think you know who did this, but really 
you need something solid. Yeah, you need some solid evidence. She was like, yeah, we had to record them because when they were in that meeting, Rob recorded what Francis had said, right? She said, I listened to that and everything, but she really didn't admit to, to doing anything. Yeah. So if you don't get anything solid, you really are spinning in, in the circle. You know, you're spinning wheels in the mud right here. Yep. So the child ends up going to Queen Sugar Mill. And I said, this is when she's about to have her breakdown. And she starts sweeping around. She was starting to try to take some pictures. And she, she just couldn't get it together. And she saw that sign that said, Queen uh, Sugar. And she lost, lost it. it. Lost it. And in the middle of her losing it, she started hearing this. Sam Landry came walking through. Tell me he coming to show his respects. <laughs> respects. She said, I don't even think you know who that is. Yeah. And he was like, basically, he said, you know what, y'all, that I would do a whole lot of things. He said, but this right here, I would never do anything like this to you. She was like, so you expect me to believe, believe that? Believe anything that come out your lips? And he said, he didn't do it. And he basically and he might away. Not, and he might not have been. I don't think he did it, but he, like but I said. you got interest in whoever did it that's in your circle. Yeah. So you know who did it. I know you do. So you coming around with, you know, looking like a sad freaking puppy dog. Yeah. So I, I say you look like a, I say yeah. you look like a pissed off cat. Trying to show that you are showing some remorse towards what happened to them. You don't give a rid of cuss again. You don't give a <laughs> turn about them, man. No. Yeah, y'all know how to put the game on so so the radar can get off of y'all, but nah. Uh -uh. But Charlie, like we said, leave. Yeah. So Disha is over there at Ra's house, right? And Ra had cooked for her. I said, I would have loved to have seen that scene play out for real. Yeah. Like Ra in the kitchen cooking something for Disha. I would love to see it. But she ate it and she said that it was good. And they're actually having a conversation and she's telling him that, you know, she understands that what he had to do today was hard. But they're going to still keep their head up and they're going to fight through this and they're going to take it one day at a time. And then Ralph Angel actually broke. And he was like, you know what? Some people seem to always have it good and mm. easy. And he was insinuating that she had it good and easy. And he said, and there's just some of us that yeah, it seems so like we cursed. we're cursed. Yeah. And he was like, I keep doing stuff to honor my father and the legacy. But it seems like everything I do, I'm disappointing him. Mm -hmm. And Disha had to break him down. And she was like, you know what? First of all, <laughs> I ain't had it easy. When I was breastfeeding my baby, that daggone daddy left. He was a rolling stone. He was gone. And she said, I was studying to pass the bar. I was doing all of this on my own. But she said, you know what I did? I did it one day at a time, exhausted. Mm -hmm. But I did it one day at a time. And things started to come together. And I made it work. By little. And I made it work. And, and that was said, the key word right there. I made, made it work. work. And she said, you're going to make it work, too. Next thing I know, Rondo asked her to spend the night. Uh-huh. <laughs> I said, well, what's my soul? Shaw, they pull her panties to the side. <laughs> but I like how she told him, you got to make it work. You got to make it work. You can't yeah, get it Yeah, so you just can't pray about it. You got to make it work. Pray and work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pray and work. So, we know they in the bed, right? But, I, the want them, but I want them pray work and, and lay some hands, but no holy hands, though. Yeah, pop, pop. Phone ring. It's doll. I said, doll always caught her. Rocking. Yeah, her, her time is just like, and do you know what time it is? And see, this is the thing I have with Dala. You and Rob are just co-parenting. You don't get to call him all times of day and night. Yeah. You got to respect it. And, and when you came to that house and when Disha was there... You didn't feel something. Hmm. You didn't feel that he was entertaining another lady. This just wasn't a friend that was helping him get through some stuff. Oh, that, she knew it. That's why uh, she had that crazy look on her face. Uh -huh. And Ron had dismissed her. And then you're going to call. Talk about something. I just want to check on you and see how you are. And how's Blue. And then I'm mad with Ralph Angel too. But why did you entertain it? Hmm. Why did you go out there and entertain it? Because if Disha would have woke up and heard that conversation, she would have like, felt some you, kind what of did you say, did you hear this time of night? And after you, you steal moist from me. Yeah. And hollering at her. Huh? So they're talking and she's, you know, he's basically saying, you know, 
Blue was doing this, doing that. You know, I called him earlier, checked on him. I said, you should hang up on him. Because after you talk to her about Blue, there's nothing else that y'all need, need to talk about. To and and she could have called you in the morning. She could have sent you a text. Or something. <laughs> and you ain't had to answer that call that type of boy. But he probably answered it because he knew she'd pop up. Huh. So, Kiki. Now, you know, this fire don't seem to brought a few people together and a whole lot of other people, they made them go sad. Yeah. Kiki done basically told her boo, listen, yeah. Micah, prom is going to come up real soon. I think we need to make some plans for prom. I know you don't. He said, yeah, I can get a car, tux, and do all that good stuff. See, yeah. He's so she green. She said, mm -mm, uh, You mm -mm. miss you so green, bruh. For that night. I said, oh. I said, no, you ain't. Kiki going to pull her panties to the side. I said, I matter of fact, mm -mm -mm. I'm going to be the limo driver, and I'm going to be a chaperone <laughs> at the prom. And I'm going to be cock blocking like a bug. Yeah, every <laughs> time y'all get close and even try to kiss, I'm going to show right up and be like, Ehh. <laughs> Nope. Back up. Three feet. Three feet. Here's my thing, Micah. Your mama going through enough. No, don't, don't be need, going out there having no babies, man. You, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you green, so that means that your pull-out game gonna be weak. So we don't. Yeah, we don't need none of that, man. Where Mike? Um, where, where, where? Um, Kiki, my um, daddy. I ain't yeah. seen him all season. Nah. She just run around here with her daddy <laughs> and, up and talk about sex. Where your daddy at? Yeah. Cause I need to send him an email. And tell him you need to put your daughter on some BC <laughs> in me chill. Uh-huh. So, yeah. So, we're going to have that going on. So, then we see Miss Charlie at the house. She get ready to get into her wine. Finally. She about to wind down and get into her feelings. And then her friend pops up with his judgmental self. Because he don't read in the paper that the owner of Queen Sugar Mill that ordered them workers to stay there during the hurricane and got killed was her. Mm-hmm. And he was like, so is that true? He's like, yeah. And he was like, why would you do something? Like she said, it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. A mistake that I'm paying for. I'm sorry. I can't change that. Just like I can't change what happened today. He gonna look at her and say, so is that who you really are? Is that who you really are? First the freaking all. She said, I guess, I guess it is who I am. Are you only being that hard on her because it was people of your own kind? That's because I, if it was, was anybody saying. else, would you been that anal towards her mm -hmm. because of a decision that she made that she basically said, I'm sorry. It was something, a decision that I made because at that time it was, it was, a, cr it was, critical, it was a critical time for yeah. the business. I would yeah. have never expected that to be the outcome. And yeah. it is a mistake I live with every day. Mm -hmm. But was, for you to be judging me for it as if I could change anything about it. No. And he was like, why you didn't tell me? That's why he, she didn't that's tell why. That's why. And you got to think, she done, maybe he will come around. He is pissed off that they got killed. But you got to remember, she helped you. And that was out of Which, guilt. Yeah. Yeah. And then her skit got evaded because of this. Yep. It's a lot. It is a lot. Mm -hmm. And I, Charlie, go. Yeah. Run. Yeah, run while you can. <laughs> run. Run. What's that thing to be on um, YouTube? Say, run. Run. <laughs> yeah. So, y'all, I don't know what to tell y'all. The only thing I can tell y'all is that finally, Unvowed them got to praying. Yeah. She done, she done prayed pray. for Nova. I can't believe you went to the throne and you mentioned Nova's name. But she told God, she said, as much as I miss that stubborn girl, I can't with her. I can't. I, I said, can't. that's a real prayer right there. But she said, I want you to keep her safe and help her mind. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> I said, that's how you do it. When you can't say a word, just put your hands on them, Lord. And I, I and I take my hands off of it. And that's basically it was a it was a downing episode for me. Yeah. It was one of the ones where I was like, really? But I was glad to see um we're gonna close right here. I was glad to see Nova break down when finally she, when she realized that she bucked up. Yeah, that she bucked up. I don't think she lost her family but her family's gonna let her feel it that's like on vibes prayer let her feel the hurt that she instilled on us and i think that's just starting to ready to happen right now because she said my family don't even look at me like a stranger yeah because when they showed up right up turn their back 
He said, they treat me like an enemy. Look what you brought to their front door. Yeah. And, all, and you know, all that, matter of fact, that book was a major catalyst to a lot of this stuff breaking off like this. It ain't the total thing, yeah. but it was a catalyst that was involved in all this bullshit yeah. that they're going through. And then it gave a whole lot of people ammunition yep. to drill and they put their um, foot on Charlie's neck. Because yeah. every time someone comes at Charlie, the first thing they bring up is different stuff yeah. that's in the book. book. Just like Francis did mm -hmm. about the scandal. And you're no better than this one. Yeah, you're uh -huh. yep. So it's like... And just like her man at the end. That's all from the book. Straight from the VA, y'all. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla! Happy birthday, Stanley. Hey.